talking way back when. Wish we could do it again. I've been thinking a lot. It brings me back again. Reminiscing back on the times when you was my friend. Always wondering why things had to end. Keeping you on my mind is all I have. Well, test drive time here at Maple Motors. 1973 Olds Delta 88. This one here, matching number 350. AC compressor is not hooked up here. It's actually solid, can't turn it. Power steering, power brakes. Quiet motor. Humongous hood. That's right. Car looks awesome. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out, and let me know what you think about this car in the comments. We're going to be test driving it, going over flaws. We're going to be seeing how it runs and drives, go down the road. What happens when I floor it and stomp the brakes? How does it steer? Be checking the suspension and getting some undercarriage shots. Along with the end, I have a segment called Picking Out the Flaws, Chips, Scratches, Rust, and Dents. Hopefully that covers everything, but if it don't, give me a call. We'll even come out here and go over the spots that you have concern of. We'll send you a FaceTime video uh, and talk over whatever you need. Be sure to uh, check out maplemotors.com. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Well, I got to get this guy to move over here first. Don't block our gate, please. <laughs> here we go. Well, before I take off, I'll look around the interior and check everything out. Got her on widescreen right now. Just trying it out. Looks pretty good in here, really. I mean, it's a little faded. Showing 95,000 miles on the dash there. Let's get you set up better than this. Hold up. Boom. The tight squeeze. Watch this. Let's <laughs> we'll start her up. A little bit of a drag there. I've had it running for a little bit, so it should be nice and warm. Wipers, whoa. Oh my goodness, it's squirting me. What in the world? I didn't even hit the wash button. I must have hit mist. No? If you turn the wipers on, it squirts you. What in the world? I'm gonna have to wipe it all off. I just got rained on. I don't think that's a great idea to use your, mist, your washers <laughs> with the top down. Dang. Radio? Yeah, we're jamming there. What's in the tape deck? Nice. Ashtray with some quarters in it. What about this one? No, empty. You seen that? I said, uh. Well, that right there needs some fixing. Windows do come down pretty good. All the power windows seem a little worn in, but not slow by any means. I guess I'll show you. That one's pretty fast, actually. See what I mean? Just a little bit slower over there. Down, I mean, they all fly down. And at the end of the video, I'll show you I'm rolling down. Or rolling up. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Yep, yep, yep. AC. No AC. The belt was not on the AC compressor. So, blower motor. Yeah, coming from the floor. Horn. Did you place your bets on the horn? Let's try it out. Does work. Cool. Big old pedals down there. Let's hit the road and see what else we can find. Well, I gotta go wipe the windshield off. All right, now we're gonna head on down the road. I got the guy to move out of the way on the shipping truck. Took forever, but hey, at least he moved. <laughs> Here we go. Now this thing is already rolling smooth. I'm enjoying that right now. Man, it's a nice day to be out in the drop top. Look, straight as an arrow, tight steering. As soon as I turn, it turns. We need some gas though. Don't do it. Oh. Getting in the brakes. Let's see if we can get that. 
kick down's not hooked up, so you have to manually shift it down. A long gear there, look at that. Back into our brakes, it's smooth. Yo. People are driving a little crazy today. You probably think I am too, swerving all over the road, slamming the brakes, punching it. Speedo's correct too. The gas gauge. Again, on this one, it doesn't say anything about which side it's on. I'm assuming it's in the back. We'll roll with it. Let's see. Okay, guys. This just went well. I'll be right back. Okay, we got ourselves about $20 worth of premium fuel, which gives us a little over four and a half gallons. Gas prices going up a little bit, aren't they? There's our cap. Let's check that gauge. I do believe it works. Here you can see our gauge there. Let's see if I can get you closer. Turn the key. Looks like our gauge is working. It's coming on up. Okay, let's keep it rolling.
Well, it's time to head back to the car lot now. I think there's some rain coming in, so I'm not putting the top up till I get back. I should head out pretty quick like. drive so smooth I love these big cars feels like you're in a boat driving down the road some people don't like that feeling I like pretty much all of them so we got working gauges I don't know why the wipers spray when I turn them on. I'm not pushing it in or anything. The washer is right there. I'm not hitting that button, but if you flip that on, which I don't want to dirty my windshield, I already cleaned it before we left. It squirts washer fluid. It's just weird. Oh, we got, we got a good amount of time for that rain gets here. Usually all my weather comes from that way. Over that way, it looks a little dark, though. But yeah, it should be coming from that way. That's Nashville. Well, nice and floaty here. The bump in the road, you hear it? Sound like door panel itself shook. And you could see it right here in the middle where it's shaking. I haven't been down to Brian's today. We'll cruise down there. Pretty much every day that I do test drives, I go down to Brian's Motorsports. And the reason I do that is I want to show you how actually actually how close it is to Maple Motors. So here's Maple Motors. No classic car lot. And then got a couple businesses to eat, pawn shops, and then Brian's Motorsports right here. Check them out Brian'sMotorsports.com. He's got a showroom in the front, so you can go in. Uh, people leave you alone. You can look around until you got questions, just like the car lot. And then out back, man, I like that Chevelle. I might have to get me another Chevelle, sell one of the three Camaros. <laughs> but he works on these cars. He works on uh, old trucks. He works on newer style vehicles. Pretty much everything in his parking lot, he has done something to customize. It's worth checking out, brianesmotorsports.com. What in the world is that? That's pretty sweet. We're about to see something crazy on that one. And I seen him working on this truck over here. It's ridiculous. Brand new truck, fully customized. He didn't come out today, he's up in the front. Usually he'll come out and say something. <laughs> That's his brother. One of his brothers. And then, of course, out front, he's got a shoe store. He's huge in the shoes. Probably has a bigger collection than anyone that I know. This has been a good test drive. very responsive I'd have to fix the AC I say that but I didn't even fix the AC in my old Camaro I got a 71 at the house AC's hooked up everything I never even checked it probably just needs to be charged I drive with the windows down or in this case the top down Guys, let's pull back into the car a lot. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share. I'll be sending more your way soon. And picking out the flaws is coming up right now. Okay, guys, so I promised when I got back, we'll put the top up. Here it comes. We 
go. Dang Mopar wasn't loud enough, was it? <laughs> this thing is not wanting to stay up either. This visor fell the whole time. All right, I'm gonna get this latched up. Back windows. That one didn't look right, did it? So the back window come off track, I'll have to help it. That one there is good. I'll fix that one. And we'll, uh, might as well do all of them. Well, I'm gonna wait on that one. Okay guys, let's get this buttoned up. This ride, chip scratches, rust and dents, coming your way. Got some scuffs on this bumper up here. Spot there, they bumped into something. Up in this corner too. Spots popping up. Front there. Chip up top. The wax. Pitting. I'm trying to see which side he's going to. Okay, never mind. He's parking there. <laughs> Spots. Chip there. edge of the door as well. Big old scuff here on the side. All the way down. Chips at the bottom here. Chips on the edge of that door. Touch up marks. Stuff's there. I got it on widescreen right now, I believe. So it's able to kind of stretch all the imperfections. I was gonna try it out for this video. Every time I've done it, y'all have liked it. I'll still get a negative comment though. <laughs> That's part of being a video maker. Somebody's gonna comment something negative. It's still the same video, but it kind of zooms in a little bit more. I won't be putting this top down. I haven't done it yet. We haven't done the test drive just yet, but y'all are going to see this at the end of the video. Not to confuse you. I started out at the lot with a clean car, and I know the roads are kind of wish-washy right now.
Sweet. Mat looks nice and clean. That goes over the, the uh, top when it's down. And the trunk itself looks pretty good. Power antenna. <clears throat> but down with the trunk lid. There we go. Pitting on your tail lights. Scuff there. Dirt there. Coming back around to the passenger side. See with the widescreen, you can get everything on here. It does kind of stretch the car a little bit. A little rust back here. Chips. Of course, that's on the other underside. You see, when you come straight, hit the side, you can hardly see it. Little bubbles there. Dent. Chips here. Scuff mark. Scuffs here. All these little chips. Could be worse though. It could have a big dent or something. I take chips all day instead of those. <laughs> little speck air on the windshield. Let's go ahead and put that top down. So, take the top down. hit down. Yeah, I'm going to turn you around. And she down. Now, this one here went a little bit slower, didn't it? There we go. Let her warm up a little bit. Well, 
rips there. Much easier to see this interior with the top down. That's what I was thinking. Oh, that's sticky up top there. Insulation still there. It's got some boogers on it though. Okay. Right on down with this hood. Chip on the edge there. Scuffs. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check those pictures out, look at all of our inventory. We update every single week with new cars on Mondays around 12 o'clock. Any more information, you need something gone over, you want me to look at something up close in detail, call us. We'll even FaceTime you and come out and check it out with you. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe, share, See you later.